Dear Chairman, thank you very much for the kind invitation. The title of my presentation is The Usefulness of OCT Guided Debunking in Bifurcation. This is my disclosure. I would like to show four cases of debunking and bifurcation. The first case is calcium exists at opposite side of Carina. The case is 71-year-old male, effort angina. You can see the severe stenosis in LAD and involving a diagonal branch in here. OCT shows at the opposite side of a diagonal branch, you can see the calcium in here. We have done a load operation using a 2.0 mm bar like this. And then Zion's stands 3.5-23 implanted to the LAD and finished with KBT using a 3.5 and 2 mm balloon like this. Final angiogram showed a beautiful result. OCT show that this calcium is abraded by load abrasion in here. After standing, no carina shift happened and wide open of the stand. One year from up show no restenosis. If there is a calcifier plug in the opposite side of carina, carina shift may happen after standing. Load abrasion recommended before standing. The second case is calcium occupies the orifice of side branch. This case is 70-year-old male, effort angina. You can see the calcium both sides of LAD and diagonal orifice. Load ablation was done in the 1.75 bar in the LAD. And then also load ablation to the diagonal branch orifice like this. OFDI show at the orifice of diagonal branch still occupies the calcium in here but the lumen gain looks okay, so we implanted the result to stand 2.7530 into the LAD and finished with KVT. 1.5 years follow-up show no stenosis. If there is calcifer plaque in side branch orifice, load ablation may help to result in single stenting without compromising side branch flow. The third case is eccentric calcium with severe tortuous bifurcation. This figure shows the left main trunk bifurcation with eccentric calcium severe tortuous LCX orifice. In this situation, load ablation with push force has a high risk for perforation. Orbital atherectomy, diamond back with pulling back has a less possibility of perforation. This case is 77-year-old male. You can see the calcium both LAD and circumflex, and circumflex is very tortuous lesion. Also, this LMT, severe stenosis, was observed in here. And at the orifice of circumflex, also there is a severe stenosis. Using a grind assist, OA cast a deeply into LCX and start putting back ablation until LCX orifice. And then, load ablation was done at the orifice of circumflex using a 2.25 mm bar. After scoreflex valve inflation, you can see the expansion in the circumflex orifice. And OADS show this is after orbital rotary low speed, ablation effect was observed in here, and high speed powder ablation effect, and then load ablation 2.25 ablation effect was seen in here. And the ballooning make a crack in there and wide open of circumflex orifice. For the left main tract LAD, this is a straight form of the vessel. So we have done the load ablation primary to the LMT to the LAD, and Zion SkyPoint 4.018 was implanted from LMT to the LAD, and you cross the guide wire to the circumflex, and the recrossing point looks okay. This is the stand link is here, and uh, this is the LMT distal stenosis lesion. Load ablation effect was seen in here, and cutting make a crack in here for stenting. And post cavity, you can see the white open of a circumflex orifice. And 3D OFDI show white open of a circumflex orifice. Final angiogram show good result. Circumflex orifice looks okay. For eccentric tortuous carshway lesion, pullback orbital atherectomy, diamond back may be effective to make an incision in calcifer lesion. Aggressive following load ablation may lead optimal lumen gain. 
The final case is abundant soft plaque occupied side branch orifice. 53 year old male, the, at the orifice of uh, LAD, severe stenosis, you can see. And at the orifice of LAD, diagonal branch and the highlateral branch and circumflex branch involved in the bifurcation. To avoid the LMT stenting, we have done a directional atherectomy using flex cut at the orifice of LAD. And the ablation effect looks okay. Then we implanted the Ultimaster 418 at the orifice of LAD to the distal LAD. Final angiogram show beautiful result. And the follow-up angiogram show no restenosis. If there is soft plug in osteo LAD, directional atherectomy may prevent plug shift into LMT and avoid LMT bifurcation stenting. Thank you for your attention.